the vulcanizer profession is traditionally reserved for men. Vulcanizer Bateirame Nadiaye, a 50-year-old woman, managed to break this taboo. In her workshop located in Rufisk, a suburb of Senegalese capital Dakar, Aramen Jai repairs flat tires and pumps in air in the tires of trucks, motorcycles and bicycles with the assistance of her six apprentices. She has been doing this job with great passion for about 30 years. It was my late husband who taught me this job. He himself was a vulcanizer. I began to practice vulcanization when I realized that my husband's income was not enough to cover all the expenses of the house. As a result, I decided to assist my husband and become his secretary to monitor the accounts of the workshop. Seeing my commitment, my late husband trained me in vulcanization. It all began there. Her neighbors call her Taya Arame, but to her customers, she's the Iron Lady. At Taya Arame, the rates vary between one and four dollars depending on the type of work done. Over the years, Arame has proven her skills and advanced knowledge in the field of vulcanization. I have known Aram for five years. When I want to repair or inflate the tires of my car, I come to her workshop. Her work is rapid and satisfactory. I call her the Iron Lady because she competes with men. I came to check if there's enough air in the tires of my vehicle. For a lady, doing this job is not really easy. Given her age and weight, she manages to be as good as a man. Her bravery and courage are to be commended. A mother of six, Taya Arame balances work and family life with the help of her oldest daughter. In her 30-year career, she has trained about 20 vulcanizers, and her ambition now is to modernize her workshop. Sadiq Shaban, CGTN.